Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Every single year, I like to do a video talking about what every NBA team has to be the most thankful for. So we're going to do that today. Uh, I'm actually recording this on 11:20, so all my thoughts and opinions and stuff like that um, are reflective up to that up to that point. If you guys are watching this at a later date and I say something like so and so, you can be thankful for him, and then the guy goes down with a career-ending injury. Well, then it's going to be you know obviously not thankful for that, right? So. Yeah, man, uh, let me know in the comment section below. When it comes to your favorite NBA team, what are you the most thankful for? Let's go ahead and get started on this video. I did not like write anything down, so I'm definitely doing this like based off of just what I see, you know, first and foremost here, man. So uh Philadelphia 76ers, I think you have to be most thankful for you know not only the, the process working out, but also getting your guy in Jimmy Butler, man. I think Jimmy Butler is exactly who the 76ers needed. Um, and looking at his, like his recent games when it comes to this team right here, man. Let's go try to check those out. You know, 16 points, 15 points, 28 points. Like this guy has been just a wonderful fit for this squad out here, man. And uh, he's hit some big shots, made some big defensive plays. It looks like he just wants to win, which, you know, if you're Philadelphia, it's been a while since you've really like won like a championship and stuff like that. So who knows, man, Jimmy Butler definitely gives you a chance in that department. Uh, for the Milwaukee Bucks, not only are you 12 and four, which is something to be thankful for, but, you know, as great as Giannis has been and Chris Middleton, I think that what you need to be thankful for the most is the man Splash Mountain. Brooke Lopez, guys. I mean, when he went to the Lakers, a lot of people thought that was just, like, it for his career. Like, he was just going to become, like, a backup center at that point. No, man. This guy has only been shooting threes for a few, uh, like, uh, like, two seasons now, if that. And he's become one of the best in the entire NBA, guys. He's shooting 42% from three this season. Has been just, like, such a great player and great fit alongside Giannis for this team, man. And really has become what you want in your center that's being a seven footer that can shoot outside space the floor you know maybe throw back some shots and do things like that so yeah i think the bucks definitely gotta be thankful for that for the chicago bulls zach levine and not to mention that but you guys also won the the uh, jimmy butler trade guys i mean you guys zach levine Lori marketing i don't know why he's listening to g league on this video oh that's kind of weird um but yeah you know chris you know chris dunn guys like that man for um for straight up for jimmy butler so and I guess realistically, it came down to the Timberwolves getting Covington and Sarich for those guys. So, I mean, Zach Levine, what more can you say about this guy right here? Averaging 25 points in this NBA season. He's in, had multiple 30-point games. Um, you know, coming back from major injuries, you never really know what a player is going to be like. But Zach Levine definitely looks like a future All-Star. but Probably even an All-Star this season in the Eastern Conference. All right, for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, this one you think would be tough. But you want to know you like, uh, to be thankful for the most, man? That is, yes, Zion Williamson being in this draft class, or even an R.J. Barrett. Uh, chances are the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to get the top or second pick in the draft, and you're going to end up with one of these two players, uh, both franchise players. I mean, Zion Williamson, you know, you, we all have our opinions on him. Some people think he's the next LeBron James. If he becomes that, then that's absolutely crazy that the Cavaliers lose LeBron James, then get the next LeBron James and Zion Williamson. So, yeah, man, be thankful for that, that the draft class is strong. Uh, for the Boston Celtics. Huh. All right. This one, man, we're going to check out some player stats because 9-8 on the NBA season. Um, nothing too great to be thankful of right there. I would probably say the biggest thing to be thankful for is despite your record, you have Brad Stevens as a coach. Be thankful for him, man, because, you know, even in the early NBA season might not be the ideal record you guys expected to have. But ultimately, when you have a great coach like that, uh, he's somebody that can turn things around. Um, you know, and especially when it comes to like the general manager and stuff like that, too, it's like, this team could definitely pull off a big time trade. So be thankful for that out there, I would say. For the Clippers, man, dude, uh, I, I guess I'm going to say uh, be thankful for diversity because this is a team right here that doesn't have a superstar, but you have a whole bunch of different players that do a lot of different great things out there in different ways, man. Like nobody's really like spectacular at everything for this team. They don't really have that all-star superstar player. Um, But yeah, man, 11 and five on the NBA season. What more to be thankful for than everybody going out there and really playing their best basketball? I guess I should really pull up the uh, player stats here real quick so you guys can kind of get a better idea of that. But, yeah, these are all been the best players. Danilio, Tobias Harris, Lou Williams, Montrez Harrell. Be thankful for that, if anything, right? Uh, for the Memphis Grizzlies, guys, 11-5 and five on the NBA season, I say you probably should be thankful for your NBA record because Mike Conley, Marcus, all your two veterans are back, and they are carrying this team. Jaron Jackson's been, been a nice addition. Garrett Temple, um... You know, averaging 12 points a game out there. Shovel Mag playing great at backup point guards. So, yeah, be thankful for being where you're at. Nobody was going out there and saying the Memphis Grizzlies were going to be the best team in the NBA. But look at them, guys. 11-5. Absolutely amazing. For the Atlanta Hawks, I will probably say be thankful that Trey Young isn't a bust. 
um is he the greatest player in the nba he's been the greatest rookie i mean the, the, the stat line is nice 17 points eight assists per game it's like okay that's that's at least a really good point guard i'm not saying it's all-star superstar next uh like, or not like, like next over like that um so be thankful for that also probably be thankful that Ken Bazemore's contracts up after the season but also I want to be I want to say man like 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 sometimes take a bite of turkey and there's a little bone in it or something like that that 39 field goal percentage is, 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 a, is a little bitch ass bone in your turkey bro where it's like all right we got to watch out for that a little bit man you don't, definitely don't want to be putting up that, those type of points with that type of field goal percentage that shows you are not being efficient uh for the Miami Heat um they are currently six and ten on the season so I guess we can kind of say maybe be thankful for his sound white side um he was in a lot of trade rumors and stuff like that and people thought this guy was just over with but this nba season 13 points 14 rebounds three blocks per game so yeah i know like Dragic, i believe uh, is he injured right now i know he was definitely having injury issues in the season and stuff like that i think he's injured as of right now too but he'll be back eventually and stuff like that he played 12 games this nba season and it's like you know the mind here are definitely a big market team so they can still end up getting somebody pretty damn solid. Josh Richardson's been nice. So I think they're, despite the wreck, there's still a lot to be thankful for as far as your team goes. You have all the right pieces. Just might need one more out there. Uh, for the Hornets, no doubt Kemba Walker, guys. I mean, what more can be said? This dude dropped 60 points in a game this season. Uh, been absolutely, this is literally like the definition of carrying a team on your back. And hopefully he's loyal and stays on the team because I know that, I, I know Hornet fans don't want to lose this man because if you do, it's like, Where's your team at? Your best player, Jeremy Lamb, Malik Monk, players like that. But yeah, 30 points for Kemba Walker. Been so much fun to watch. Uh, been having the mama mentality out there. So yeah, be thankful for that. For the Utah Jazz, 8-9 and nine on the NBA season. Looking at this out there, man. Uh, I, I, I guess the best way I could put this and be is like be thankful that it's not worse. Um, everybody expected the Jazz to be like a top 4 5 team in the uh, Western Conference. Uh, Donovan Mitchell... You know, people are saying he's kind of like not having his best season as compared to last year. Uh, the scoring's right there, but really, like, even the field goal percentage, like, he's not, I don't know, man. The, the, the record's not quite there to show, but Donovan Mitchell's not really falling off or nothing like that. I mean, he definitely has room to improve. His three point shot needs to go up a little bit. Field goal percentage could definitely be better. Um, but I guess, like I was saying, man, it, it definitely could be worse out there. Uh, for the Sacramento Kings, I'm going to say straight up the, the backcourt De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heald. De'Aaron Fox been uh, you know been dropping a few crazy triple doubles out there. Buddy Heald at about 19, 20 point per game score. Uh, they're both still extremely young, man. It seems like this team has like their core players that they want to build around, and now it's just about adding that last, you know, that first or second piece. Marvin Bagley, I mean, he's not been like killing the rookie stat line out there, but he's still you know being his first year in the NBA at the age of 19. He still has some great potential too, man. Okay, for the New York Knicks, four and 13. I'm gonna say be thankful for Alonzo Trier. Those are the type of guys you need. When you're, when you're not a very good team, you need guys like that to step up and become rotation players down the line. Uh, be thankful that, you know, Porzingis is still on your roster, despite anything. And be thankful that Kevin Durant is definitely interested in going to the New York Knicks. Uh, for the Los Angeles Lakers, 9-7 on the season. Uh, I will probably say this team, let's go ahead and check out maybe their uh, their team stats, how they've been as of late. No, I guess we, yeah, we actually want to go to uh, conference standings right here. And the Lakers, they are 5-3 and three at home, 4-4 four, four on the road. Won their last game right there. Last 10, 7-3. So, I would say probably the Lakers, be thankful for that this team is finally starting to put things together out there. Um, definitely had a big-time struggle to the season. People were like, okay, is this team going to make the playoffs? But no, man, it seems like they're finally figuring things out. For the Orlando Magic, they are 9-8 and eight on the season. So, they're playing pretty well out there. Uh, player stats, it's like, I guess this one is just ultimately, man, once again, be thankful for the record. I still don't think this team is like going to like do anything in the playoffs. Might not even make playoffs. So I think this team still needs to, because Vucevic is playing, you know, 20 points, 11 rebounds per game, four assists. Um, I mean, if you're a Magic fan, maybe you think differently than I do, but I'm like, okay, they be thankful for Vucevic's trade value because it's not a one year deal, man. So it's like, I still think this team should probably trade Vucevic away and uh, go for a point guard of the future and maybe work on uh, Bamba. But at the same time, they're 9 and 8. So maybe they sneak into the A spot of a weak Eastern Conference. For the Dallas Mavericks, no doubt, man, Luka Doncic is not a bust. Uh, you traded away not only Trey Young, but also next year's uh, first-round draft pick. So, of course, you want Doncic to, like, be great because of that. 19 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. Lots to be thankful right there, man. He's definitely panning out as a player. Looks like a future superstar in the NBA. For the Brooklyn Nets, definitely be thankful for having a pretty good roster, but despite not having draft picks, man. And be thankful for having your draft picks now. Uh, one of the I, I would say, man, the, the GM of the Nets totally underrated. 
for being able to put together this squad right here which is not like amazing by any stretch of the imagination but it's good all things considered with their draft pick situation Karis levert's been great i know he'll be i know he had his injuries and stuff like that but he'll be back and better than ever man d low out there doing great so yeah man be thankful for not being just absolutely horrible despite your situation uh for the nuggets they are currently 10 and 7 on the nba season um i would say probably be thankful for nikola Jokic's defense um it's definitely taking him to the next level as a player definitely put him in that superstar center category uh gary harris and Maul murray both those guys have really been great will barton paul Millsap. so just be thankful for your whole damn team man y'all 10 to 7 in the western conference uh indiana pacers 11 and 6 i'll probably probably say in this case man i definitely missed this guy on my six-man video and that is be thankful for demontis sabonis because Victor Oladipo has been an all-star for this team. Sabonis so is was good last year too, man, but really playing some great basketball at 14 points, 10 rebounds per game, per game three assists. But I mean, it just goes to show, man, not only did you uh, win the trade because of Oladipo playing better than Paul George, in my opinion, but also, man, the addition of Sabonis, it's got to make it hurt even more if you're a Thunder fan. Okay, for the Pelicans, 10-7 and seven on the season. Uh, I will say, man, probably be thankful for Miritic shaving his beard. Since he's done that, he's been one of the best shooters in the NBA, guys, going back to last year's playoffs. Uh, been a great fit alongside Anthony Davis, who's also somebody to be thankful for at 28 points, 12 rebounds per game. Uh, Drew Holiday's been good. I mean, this team, I still think, needs to make a trade for another wing player out there. But overall, you look at the starting five and even the six-man Julius Randle, a lot of good things going on for the Pelicans. For the Detroit Pistons. Uh, be thankful that Blake Griffin is having his best season ever because if he wasn't this team would not be doing that well out there But eight and six on the NBA season man for this team But yeah looking at Blake Griffin having a career year when it comes to rebounding I guess he did average about 11 rebounds per game back in 2012 But still playmaking has been great the field goal percentage 30 uh, 47 percent 24 points per game So I'm very I'm personally thankful for that Andre Drummond 19 and 16 on the season this team is So confusing to me on what they actually are, but uh, they're eight and six. So I'm not gonna complain for the, for the uh, Toronto Raptors, be thankful that Kawhi Leonard has decided to buy into the team and buy into the system and buy into the season. 13-4, and four, top one or two team in the NBA, in my opinion, man. 25 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists for Kawhi Leonard. Serge Ibaka has been just probably his best season ever, right? Yeah, man, his best season ever, in my opinion, here. He's been fantastic. Uh, for the Houston Rockets, be thankful that you still have a superstar backcourt. Eight and seven, you guys, you know, lost, you know, lost Melo. He's obviously not on the team anymore and stuff like that, which might be something to be thankful for yourself because not, well, since Melo's been off the team, it seems like the Rockets have been a bit be uh, better out there, you know, chemistry-wise and stuff like that. Uh, this man, Gary Clark, looks like he's got some pretty good potential on this team. But yeah, you still got James Harden, you still got Chris Paul, which means that you can still be a threat in the Western Conference no matter what. For the San Antonio Spurs, who are currently eight and eight at the NBA season, uh, be thankful for the mid-range shot. Be thankful that... Greg Popovich is okay with it because that, of course, is what, you know, DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge, Rudy Gay excel in shots like that. I mean, DeRozan, 25 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. He had zero issue coming to this team, man, and just, like, stepping right up and being the superstar. He wants to be that clutch player. He wants to be the big shot man out there, and it's been working out for the Spurs. Yeah, 8-8. Eight eight. I mean, it's a 500 record. You guys lost your starting point guard, Jante Murray. But, uh, you know, when you lose your starting point guard, that can just kill chemistry, and the rotation's been pretty solid. LaMarcus, DeMar, been solid. That's cool, bro. All right, for the Phoenix Suns, who are 3-13. and 13, uh, you, know, De you know, Devin Booker's always something to be thankful for. DeAndre Ayton looks like a pretty solid center out there. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this probably falls in the same category as the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that's uh, to be thankful for the draft class. Because you are going to get another good piece to add to this team out there. Um, I would love RJ Barry at the small forward position. Oh, or I don't know, man, because like the thing is like like the point guards in this upcoming draft class is not great, which is what this team needs. But still, man, they're going to get another solid piece uh, for the OKC Thunder 10 and six on the season. Um, I will say be thankful for Dennis Schroeder. A lot of people thought he was going to come on this team and not be a good fit alongside Russell Westbrook. He is playing uh, about what is it, man? About yeah, 30 minutes a game out there, which is just too shy of Russell Westbrook himself. And he's been really efficient. I mean, few goal percentage, 40 percent, which is, is OK. Three-point shot, no really expect him to be great in that department, but still dropping 16 and 6 out there. Uh, Paul George, Russell Westbrook, both, you know, combining for 48 points on the season. Actually, I guess 49 if you want to count the decimal point out there, which we probably should. So, yeah, man, 10 and 6 is not bad. Um, Timberwolves, be thankful not only for Derrick Rose and him, you know, really breaking out the season again. Nobody expected that. But also be thankful that the uh, Jimmy Butler is not on this team anymore, man, because 
just a complete chemistry killer locker room killer out there you got two nice pieces in Covington and also Sarich yeah you probably could have got better early on in the NBA season there's probably been a few better trades out there but the fact that he's out of the locker room is a big time W uh, for the Trailblazers 11 and 5 on the season as always man be thankful for Damian Lillard because this man plays with a chip on his shoulder he knows that he doesn't always get the respect he deserves but he's still one of the best scorers in the NBA 27.6 assists CJ's been great uh Nurkic I still think he's one of the best valued centers in the NBA and only uh, 11 million dollars a season getting you 15 and 11 out there with a block a game Zach Collins he plays defense so that's great too man Golden State Warriors this one's easy uh, be thankful that that at worst case scenario you lose two of your all stars, which you know could be Kevin Durant and Demarcus Cousins, it could be Kevin Durant and Clay Thompson, Clay and Demarcus. But no matter what combination of those two players you lose, you still have three all stars on your team. Um, and then finally the Washington Wizards. Um, be thankful that the, uh, the 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 GM finally decided that maybe it's time to blow up this team and trade either Bradley Beal or John Wall because people have been saying it for a few seasons now. The chemistry is just not there and you know they're 5 and 11 so i mean they're gonna get some good trade value out of those guys so be thankful that the gm is ready to finally pull that next move instead of wasting you know watching the wizard fans time and stuff like that but anyway guys hope you all enjoyed this video like i said man there could be some other stuff out there to be thankful for i just kind of did this on the spot so let me know in the comment section below what you think your favorite nba team has to be thankful for